This video is about exponential function manipulation. This is AP Precalculus Topic 2.4. If you appreciate the content, please give it a like. The properties of exponents that you learned back in algebra can also be used to manipulate and rearrange exponential functions into an equivalent form. The product property says that if you multiply with like bases, you add the exponents. So, for example, x to the fifth power times x to the third power will be x to the five plus three power, which is x to the eighth power. Or, if you have two to the x times two to the three, that would be the same as two to the x plus three. Remember the power property, which says that if you raise a power to another power, you multiply those exponents. So, x to the fifth power to the third power is going to give you x to the fifteenth power as you multiply. And two to the x power cubed would be two to the three x power. You multiply these exponents. And don't forget how negative exponents work. A negative power sort of drops you down to the denominator. So, b to the negative n power is the same as one over b to the n power. x to the negative three power is the same as one over x to the third power. And two to the negative x power is the same as one over two to the x. Example one, determine the horizontal transformations of each of the following exponential functions. Horizontal transformations show up on the inside of the function and they are always the opposite of what they appear. So a plus two in this position means a horizontal translation by negative two. For an exponential function, being inside the function means being in the exponent, like this. So having x plus two for the exponent means a horizontal translation by negative two. Recall that multiplying on the inside of a function gave us a horizontal dilation. But horizontal transformations are always the opposite of what they appear. So multiplying by three on the inside gives you a horizontal dilation by a factor of one third. Think reciprocal. Part C, nine to the x divided by two power is the same thing as nine to the one half x power. The reciprocal of one half is two. So this gives a horizontal dilation by a factor of two. Part D, just like in part A, adding or subtracting inside the exponent will be a horizontal translation. Subtracting one in the exponent gives us a horizontal translation by positive one. Let's do a quick side lesson. We just saw that if f of x equals four to the x plus two. This is a horizontal translation by negative two. Let's see if we can use the properties of exponents to rewrite this function into an equivalent form. For example, we know that b to the m times b to the n is equal to b to the m plus n. But this is true in reverse as well. b to the m plus n will equal b to the m times b to the n. So, if I have a base and then the exponent is something plus something, I can rewrite this as a product. But that's exactly what we have right here. So we should be able to rewrite this as a product. This would be the same as four to the x power times four squared. Obviously, four squared is 16, and I can put that in the front if I want to f of x could be written as 16 times four to the x power. Compared to the parent function four to the x power, f of x started off as a horizontal translation by negative two. But now we have rewritten it as a vertical dilation by a factor of 16. Every horizontal translation of an exponential function can be rewritten as a vertical dilation. Because if we have f of x equals b to the x plus h, we can always rewrite this as f of x equals b to the x times b to the h. And if we put that in the front, 
f of x equals b to the h times b to the x. Comparing this to the model exponential function a times b to the x power, we can see that the b to the h part is just the a value, and this is a vertical translation by a factor of b to the h. Example two, each of the following exponential functions has a horizontal translation. For each, write an equivalent representation that has a vertical dilation and no horizontal translation, like this. Part A, we can rewrite this as f of x is equal to two to the x times two to the third power. Two to the third power is eight, and we can take that eight and put it in the front. So we can write eight times two to the x power. Notice that we have gone from a horizontal translation by negative three to a vertical dilation by a factor of eight. In part b, g of x can be rewritten as three to the x times three to the negative two power. That means g of x is equal to three to the negative two power is the same thing as one over three squared. This is one over nine, which I will now put in the front. So I will have one ninth times three to the x. So that's it for part b. We have now gone from a horizontal translation by positive two to a vertical dilation by a factor of one ninth. Part C, k of x can be rewritten as four times three to the x power times three squared. I'm splitting this part up into three to the x power times three squared. Of course, three squared is nine, and nine times four is 36. So k of x is 36 times three to the x power. Remember that when you raise a power to a power, you multiply the exponents. So b to the n power to the m power is b to the n times m power. We can use this property of exponents to show that every horizontal dilation of an exponential function is equivalent to changing the base. Compared to the parent function y equals three to the x power, f of x equals three to the two x power is a horizontal dilation by a factor of one half. Notice that this property of exponents is reversible. So if we start with b to the n times m power, we can rewrite this as b to the n power to the m power. Similarly, f of x can be rewritten as three squared to the x power. Of course, three squared is nine, so f of x is nine to the x power. So we no longer see the horizontal dilation by a factor of one half. Now we have no transformation, but we have a new base. Example three, which of the following functions is an equivalent form of the function y equals nine to the two x power? Well, as we saw on the side lesson, we could rewrite this as a power to a power. So we could rewrite this as nine squared to the x power. But this is going to be 81 to the x power. So the answer is D. Example four, which of the following functions is an equivalent form of the function y equals nine times four to the x power. Quick side lesson, you know that 25 to the one half power is the same thing as the square root of 25. So if you see 25 to the one half power, you think square root and you know the answer is five. With that in mind, what do you think 27 to the one third power is equal to? 
Hopefully, in your mind, you're thinking about the cube root of 7, which is 3. So, if I ask you what power will turn 36 into a 6, you should be thinking, hmm, I'd have to do the square root of 36 in order to get the 6. So, the exponent must be 1 half. In example 4, I'm noticing that we started with a base of 4. But in all of the answer choices, we have a base of 16. What exponent is required to turn the 16 back into a 4? We know that 16 to the 1 half power will equal 4 because this is the same thing as the square root of 16. Since this expression is equal to 4, let's substitute this expression for 4 right here. The original equation then becomes y equals 9 times 16 to the 1 half power to the x power. When you raise a power to a power, you multiply. So we get y equals 9 times 16 to the 1 half x power. This is the same as 9 times 16 to the x over 2 power. So the answer is c. Hey guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. But also, if you found this video helpful, there's a lot more where that came from. You can click the upper link, which will take you to the whole unit playlist, or you can click the lower link, which will take you to the next video in the playlist. See you there.